Hey, this is Patrick from Frontly. Today, I want to talk about form fields. In Frontly, when you create a form, by default, the fields will be plain text fields, but you often want to change the type to something like a select dropdown or a date picker or something like that. So this tutorial is going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started by creating a page. And I'm going to call this page orders because my sample data set is a list of e-commerce orders. So I'll be using that for this tutorial. I'm going to create a form block and I'm going to select my e-commerce order spreadsheet and then adjust my form to create mode. This would be for creating new rows in my e-commerce orders spreadsheet. So now that we've added a form, you can see my fields and there are about 10 or 12 fields here and they're all plain text fields. So that's totally fine. There's an email field here. There's some price fields and an order date field. A few of these fields would ideally be more than just a plain text field. We'd probably want a select dropdown for the specific statuses that my data allows. And for the order date, ideally that would be more like a date picker kind of component. So let's set that up. Let's start with the status field. And if I go click on any field in this list over here, I'll get a menu just for editing that field. If you see here, the field type can be adjusted. By default, it's an input, but there are about eight or 10 options here. And the first one is going to be a select. Now that's what I want. This is a select dropdown. If I click that, Frontly automatically detects the values from my spreadsheet and populates them here. You can see processing shipped and delivered. Those are the three values that Frontly detected in my spreadsheet, which are in this status column. Now, if I want, I can actually customize those, although they're just based on my real data, but let's say I wanna have a new status called new, or maybe cancel. I can do that, and right away, that's added. So now my users are only able to select from these options instead of just a free form text, which can be really valuable for validating data and let's continue. So let's check out the order date field. Again, it's an input. And in this case, I want to select the date type. Without making any other changes, we can see that the order date field has become a date picker where I can actually click on dates in a calendar. I can navigate between different months and I'm able to basically confirm that my users are giving me valid dates instead of just plain text that could be anything. So this is looking really good. Um, let's see, we can probably do a few more. So maybe now we can try some field validation. So in this case, I have this price dollars and price large. These are just basically sample fields that I created just so that I can try different things. But if I wanna to go to my price field, we'll just use the regular price field. And I can keep it an in input, but instead of changing the type like this, I can go down into the field validation settings. Now this is different because it's still a text input, but when I type into the field, if I've added validation, Frontly will make sure that it's a valid value that complies with this rule. So in this case, I could say is price, and this will tell Frontly that there should be a, a dollar amount essentially in this field before I submit. So if I hit save and preview, let's see what this form looks like. So we have our statuses here, and then we have our order date selector here. This is really great. We have a bunch of plain text fields, and then I have a price over here. Now I didn't add any other particular validation to these fields, but if I hit save new record, Frontly will automatically require that all of these fields are filled out. This is a setting that we can adjust, but I think it's a pretty good default because you probably don't wanna have a bunch of blank data in your spreadsheet. Now, this is required and because it's totally empty, that's the message we're giving right now. But if I try typing in something like ABC and then hit save, you can see invalid price format. So. Not only are we requiring that the field has some data, but we're actually validating what type of data. And so you can go through your different settings and you can make these adjustments. Now, just to show you how this works, if I go to my product field, 
and I go to my validation, you can see required is on by default. But if I turn that off, then we go back and save. I'll just refresh my page. So if I hit save, product is not required anymore. So it's not having this validation error. And so it's up to you if you want your fields to be required and what types you wanna set. But you can see how flexible it really is when you start adjusting the values. There's validation for even a valid email. So you can say is email, and that will require that the field exists, there's a valid value, and it's an email address. So Frontly takes care of some of that hard work for you, helps keep your data nice and clean and consistent. So there's the form block. Now, all of these same ideas apply when you're using one of the other blocks like a table and you have this default form that pops up. So I'll just run you through that just to make sure you know how to find those settings. I'll go to my e-commerce orders. So we have a page that displays all of my e-commerce orders. Now you've probably seen this if you played around with Frontly. By default, without making any adjustments, if you click on a record in one of these blocks, you'll get a form that pops up and has the values and you can edit them. But again, these are all just plain text. So we want to add some validation. And because it's in the table, the form isn't the core part of it. The settings are in a slightly different place. In this case, you wanna to go to the actions and then you wanna click on edit default detail view. So that's what this is called right here. This is the detail view that pops up to show you the details of the record that you click on. Now, if we click edit view, you can see a very familiar set of field and settings, which is exactly the same as the ones that appear in the form block. So I won't bother going through them all, but if I click on the email field, you can see the exact same set of uh, settings and you can adjust the field types just like how we did before. So in this case, I mean, I'm not sure if I really would want to select drop down of a bunch of emails, but because that's what I just did, let's check it out and let's see how it works. So I'm going to refresh my page now that I've made that adjustment. And if I go into my, into my app, click on the detail. Now you can see that I can actually select my email from a dropdown. Hey, in your specific case, that actually might make sense. It's up to you to decide, but now you know how to fully edit form fields in Frontly. And there's one more setting that I wanna show you because it will save you some time. If you go back to your main dashboard and you go to the Google Sheets page where you imported your Google Sheets to begin with, if you click on any of these, you'll actually get a little set of fields that you can adjust here. So I'll go to my e-commerce orders and now all my fields, just like the other settings we were looking at are here. I can set my defaults. So maybe I want my order date instead of it to be a text every time I create a form or something like that. Maybe I always want this to be a date and I can adjust my date format. Let's say my dates are in month, day, year format. Great. Now, when I create a new page in Frontly, instead of having to adjust that every time, it's gonna be automatically handled. So the power is in your hands. Go play around with forms and build an awesome app.